Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Donna and today we're making chicken liver pate. As you see, the main ingredients here are chicken liver, one nice big onion, probably a pound, good quality butter, uh, bay leaf to give a nice flavor, little spices, little thyme, little pepper, chili here, uh, salt for sure, whiskey, of course, because that's a key ingredient. And I'm going to add something unusual that is not regular mise en place for chicken liver pate. Uh, dried uh, plums from Georgia. It's going to be a little Georgian twist to our chicken liver pate. It's super easy to make. It's very affordable, very cheap. I paid like $2.50 in this one, probably a dollar in that. So for under five dollars oh this was the most expensive one <laughs> this was like five dollar butter but still we're gonna use only half of that we're not gonna use all so under five dollars you can make a really nice good amount get a baguette and serve it as an appetizer all right let's do it first thing we're gonna start melting the butter and cook the liver start with that all right, I'm gonna start about this amount. This will be about uh, three tablespoons. It smells really good. Okay, voila. If you see any, um, you know, big pieces of uh, not very appealing parts, you can discard them. I like to dry it so that there's not extra blood in there. <gasps> Let's see how that looks. Now that the liver is in the pan, sauteing, I'm gonna cut the onion. The onion is really important in chicken liver pate because it gives nice sweetness and you have to make sure that we caramelize that. All right, let's go. We're gonna season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. Pate, all right, salt. We are going to add bay leaf, a little chili and all the Time here. Voila. Put the lid on and um, let it cook. Let's start with the 10 minutes. Now we're gonna stir it. So there's gonna be a lot of moisture in the beginning from onions, from meat, so the moisture and then the lid on will create the steam inside. So that's gonna soften, start softening the onions, which is super important. And then after the moisture evaporated, then it's gonna start caramelizing in a butter that we added. Wow, look at that moisture. See, that's what I was talking about. I put the lid back on, turn down the temperature a little bit. Uh, okay, that should be good. And take a little break. So while we are waiting our onions to get nice and soft, we can taste our bread and butter and a little bit of whiskey. I actually added some uh, cloves in there months ago. It has nice clove flavor. So I think that should be good in my pate. Nothing's wrong with that, right? Uh, let's try the butter, make sure that it's good. So I have a half baguette left from Levan Bakery. Um, one of my favorite places for cookies. They really have the best cookies. Oh my God. Their chocolate walnut cookie. It's a thick, it's usually underbaked, and I guess that's how it should be. And it's always warm, no matter when you go there. Even if you go um, at 10 p.m., it's nice and warm. 
and they opened um, a new one in uh, near Union Square, uh, 18 and 5th, I think. Um, and when you reach the store, the smell of chocolate is intoxicating. It's so good. And I can never finish one whole cookie, but I always eat half. And uh, it's one of those things, life's simple pleasures, all right? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, butter. Can't say that that's the best butter I ever have. I'm gonna add dried plums. I brought those from Georgia. My mom made them, and I brought a huge bag. And I think that's all I have left. How many should I add? All right, let's do five. Let's do five. Okay, that should be good. Voila. Ugh. There's still a lot of moisture and it smells fantastic. The onion and bay leaf and pepper, amazing. So after all the water is evaporated, that and the, the onion starts caramelizing, then we're gonna deglaze it with the whiskey. It's been 20 minutes, guys. Long time, it takes a while. Let's see what's happening here. That looks amazing. This is what we need, that caramelization of the onions. And you see how nice and soft the onions are. You see this color on the liver, right? That's gonna be all the flavor. We're deglazing the pan, meaning that we're gonna scrape all those wonderful caramelized onions from the bottom of the pan. And remember how much onions we put in there? That was a lot, right? They're all gone. Nice. I'm gonna let the alcohol evaporate. This is pretty much ready. The liver is cooked. Um, and then we're just gonna blend, add a little more butter, season and blend it that's it oh hey let's see what's happening here like you can just eat this the way it is it's gonna be fantastic but because we're making chicken liver pate we have to move everything in a uh, food processor except for the bay leaf we don't want that in there but other than that so all the plums are nicely hydrated and nice and soft they absorbed all the flavor from liver and onions. Oh my God, this is so good. You can just dip the bread in there and eat it. Let me just taste that. And I'm the person who doesn't like onions, but this way I love it. Mm, sweet. A little spicy, so good. Almost there. Mm. So good. A little more butter, about two tablespoons. Voila. We can try it. Oh, la, la. Well, you have to chill this actually, but you know, I need to make sure that it tastes good, right? No oh, pomegranate seeds. Oh, more Georgia in there. Georgian French marriage. It took me about an hour to do this. But, you know, not an active an hour. So I just put together in five minutes and then I stir a couple of times and I was ready. So 
You can put in the small, beautiful dishes, mm, put it in the fridge and chill, and then serve it with a little bit of cornichons or any pickled, whatever you guys have at home. Anything pickled. Mm -hmm. There you go. And put it in the fridge. Well, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like the video, and see you guys next week. Bye-bye.